The following game contains depictions of pixelated criminals getting shot in the face and punched in the balls. You have been warned. Hey hey everyone, it's Dave the Turnip here, and this week on 5 Credits to Midnight, we are playing Crime City. It's a city, it's full of crime. Wow. Okay, right off the bat, cocaine gives you points. You know we're in for something good. You're shooting people in the face, and cocaine's giving them points. But that's just the tip of the iceberg in uh, Crime City here. Uh, it was developed by Taito in 1989. Uh, the two main characters, the cops in this game, are actually the cops from a game uh, that Taito released the previous year called uh, Chase HQ. As he drinks a beer to regain health. Beer and cocaine. Oh, ho ho, Crime City. Anyway, you know, it's your simple side-scrolling game. Uh, you go around, you get guns, you punch people in the balls. And you make people surrender by pretending to be dead. It's also, the levels are rather short, so we get to see a few levels here. I call this move Flailing Net Windshield. I wanted to show off the roll in the game, and, well, it didn't look as cool as I envisioned it. But that's okay, it's just another day in Crime City. You know, there are armed goons on cars on the highway, there's a cop that's jumping from car to car just shooting people. Their masks are falling off, I thought it was their faces falling off originally when I played this game. Just like Ninja Gaiden the week before. Ninja Gaiden, sorry. Um, I still mispronounce that sometimes. Oh, damn. He shot me in the shins. My one weakness. But just like Ninja Gaiden the week before. Motorcycles. Damn, those motorcycles. So as you see, you do have a life bar, which is kind of useless because if you get shot, it's an instant death anyway. But I guess it's kind of like melee damage if you run into an enemy or get hit by an enemy or by the rolling barrels. Ha <laughs> ha You can ride the barrels. Eat your heart out, Mario. <laughs> or if you get hit by a moving car, obviously that would hurt quite a lot. But luckily there's beer. Finally, we take care of one of those motorbike guys. Yep, I don't think I'm the only one who's getting another Contra flashback here. It's kind of cool that the game switches up the mode a little. Always good to have variety in these. As you prance around like a ninny. But, um, unlike Ninja Gaiden and Moon Patrol, uh, this is a game I just decided to uh, do an episode on without a nostalgic connection. Um, I was just going through MAME games a while back when I first got my MAME collection, and this was just a load of fun. So I thought, nope, you know. I'm definitely going to do an episode on this, and I'm doing one, so there you go. <laughs> Did dogs just burst out of those barrels? Wow, that's some hardcore defense for a bunch of bank robbers, I'll tell you that. Victory is mine! Catch hold of bank robbery fever. 
Oh, and yeah, what I'm doing here is because that bad English, I'm going back to the opening of the game. Just to show you a, a bit here. Also, it's kind of an intermission. Do, 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 do between uh, the second and third levels, uh, just for a difference. So you insert a coin, and you see what each of the characters is up to. Well, let's go for a kill time. You tell him, Raymond. You tell him. Okay, so it's... Oh, fat guy, Hawk Punch. It is level three now. Some kind of car yard. There's always an industrial level in these games. So you see, this really is your standard run and gun. Uh, you have some uh, weapon upgrades. Like the automatic gun or the um, shotgun that has the spread fire. Or this, um, I think they're tranquilizer bullets. At least that's how I read it. And one that... <laughs> One of the funny upgrades is actually a gun with max bullets, because if you can see up there, you only get 50 bullets in your starting gun. And when you run out, you have to punch people to death. Oh, and then there's monks. Ah! Did anyone else have a Raiders of the Lost Ark flashback there? Okay, I, I actually killed the hostage there. I punched her in the face. Um, you'd think there'd be more of a penalty, but instead, the guy just goes, No! Which is a shame. You'd think there'd be more consequences. But I guess when you're going around town just helplessly murdering a bunch of criminals, you are kind of above the law. Anyway, it's the short one this week. Uh, that's episode four of Five Credits to Midnight. Um, I hope you enjoyed yourself. I did things a little differently this week. I kind of wrote a few things out beforehand. Um, I think there were some entertaining lines this week. And of course, the game I played just because I think it's innately hilarious by itself. So tell me what you think in the comments. If you have any games you'd like me to check out, please leave them in the comments as well. And I'll see you guys next week. Have fun, everyone.